Yes, guys, welcome back to another video. And today, Manchester United 2, Aston Villa 1. And what a game. We're just on a winning streak. I just hope our players don't get injured again because then we'll be back to square one and losing again. But for the moment, we can enjoy this win. We have won 2 1 against Villa. It was a shaky game. Rasmus, good goal in the first half. We kept it till half time. Second half, they're getting chance after chance. The score with Douglas Louise, and then in the last five minutes of the game, your boy Scooby Doo comes on and goes bang into the back of the net, and that is um, two one to Man United. And also, but we have won and we have held on, and what a result that is for us because we are now back into the top four race. Five points on Villa, six off Spurs, um, and I just feel like that will bring a lot more confidence to the team, and it's. The first time I think under ten how we've beaten a team away in the top nine for a while, so it's it's really really good that win. Um, of course it was lucky because Villa had very good chances, but you you gotta get a bit of luck. Um, we've had that pretty much all season, but it's still a win is a win, and I'm so happy with that win. So um, what I wanna say is that we are starting to build a team like a togetherness like the back four is trying to is looking good uh the midfield casemiro main who looks good bruno's starting to get back into form rashford ganacha hoyden everyone's doing their part as a team and i'm and i think the team is doing really really well um so let's get into the player ratings andre onana today a nine out of ten i think the saves he made today was incredible i think it's the best we've seen him all season i think it's the best game of his season uh for him uh, because I thought he'd done really, 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 really well today. Uh, good saves on Ramsey, uh, McGinn, uh, the Watkins save in the first half. That was really, really good. So him a 9 out of 10. Uh, Dallo a 8. I thought defensively was quite good. Go going forward, what a, del what a delivery to Scott McTominay said. It's just like you got to tap it and it's going in, lad. Um, the perfect pass, put it on a plate really for him. Um, excellent from him, eight. Uh, Varan seven. I thought he was, he was, he kept uh thinking quite quite uh, Watkins, but he was a bit looking a bit dodgy at the back today. Varan, uh, a seven. Maguire a eight. Um, I thought it's again one of his best games of the season. I thought he did really really well. Uh, defensively with Watkins and trying to you know keep a clean sheet but even though we didn't but he still was very uh, done really really well so him at eight uh luke shaw for the half he played i'd give him a seven i thought he was really really you know he was defensively kept uh bailey in his pocket didn't really let him do much and going forward he was as normal but i just hope he isn't injured because at the moment it is looking bad because we've just got these players by martina shaw and casemiro and really two of them are injured so Hopefully he's not that bad. Um, so I'd give him a seven. Uh, May knew a six. I, I feel like it was it was a good game from him, obviously, but we were getting overrun in that midfield. And I, I think he was young, a bit weak, a bit naive sometimes. But um, yeah, he done really really well. So I still give him a six. Casemiro seven defensively done very very well. He did not even deserve a yellow card. If he got a yellow card and we had lost that game, I would have said the referee's absolute idiot. Because Casemiro one didn't foul him and two is not really stopping an attack, so it wasn't even a foul. It was a dive. So I don't know how. We okay, if you're giving a foul, fair play. But how are you giving a yellow card as well? Um, yeah, Casemiro had to be a bit more cautious, but we still won the game. So seven. Bruno a six and a half. Uh, wasn't bad today. It wasn't that good, but you know he was trying. He was getting into the game quite a lot, and he was. You know, trying to make chances for the players. Uh, Ganacho a seven. I thought he'd done quite well. On the left, he could have scored a goal. On the right, he had a couple of good chances as well. So, a seven. Uh, Rashford, a six. He's had two good games recently. I feel like this was a step back where he had to pass more defend, track back. So, it wasn't really that type of game where he could have attacked a lot. So, uh, a six. Oiland, a seven. I thought his pressing was amazing today uh he took his goal well we've got a really really good striker on our hands a pole chat finisher uh, a target man a number nine everything you want in a striker he's fast he's quick he's strong everything um and yeah i'd give him a seven yeah seven as well 
Uh, Ten Hag, I will give Eric, Eric, Eric Ten Hag a seven. I thought he couldn't really have done much with the team. Uh, substitution was good, Scott McTominay and then Evans and, uh, what's that one's name? Uh, he brought on Evans and I'm just trying to think. Oh yeah, Lindelof um, and Amrabat, sorry. So, yeah. Um, but let's go into the into Scott McTominay because I'm not really going to rate the others because they came on for a couple of minutes and didn't really have to do much. But McTominay got the winner. Scott McTominay at eight. I thought, well, if you're going to score a winner in, in that type of game, then you got to get a high score because he was absolutely incredible. Uh, that header, the way he took it and how composed he was. So an eight. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. This is my match re match reaction to the Man United 2 Villa 1 uh, results. And I'm so happy today. Um, Sunday night. So I'm really, really happy. Um, uh, so if you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Let's hit 150 subscribers. We are, what, four subscribers away. And then we can carry on building as a fan base. Man United fans. Um later on so yeah if you haven't already don't forget to drop a like and subscribe i hope you have enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like also um and comment what you think on this video if the comment sections are up um and i'll see you in, i'll see you in another video peace